Hey everybody. I realized the other day that I haven't done a shell carving in a very long time. So I thought to myself, how about we make a thing? So this is a melon volute, or a Milo shell, or a Milo Milo. They are very cool, and I have a lot of them. So I thought it would be a good subject to carve. It'll be really simple, so it was actually a great kind of introductory prog or project to, you know, jump into carving shells, so I thought, why not? But we're going to have a little twist on it at the end that'll be pretty cool, I think. So I'm going to start drawing out a design. Oh, one more thing before I get started. I know I say it every video, but do not ever carve shells without a respirator on. Seriously. Very, very dangerous. Alrighty, so here's my little design I came up with. We'll be adding more to it as we go. And to do pretty much all of this carving, all we're going to need is a diamond cutoff wheel. I'm pretty sure for shell, the fiber ones would work just fine too. Actually, the ceramic probably would too. But yeah, cutoff wheel. <laughs> got our pieces cut out and we're going to be doing more but before this gets any more fragile than it already is I'm going to move on to the next step which if I can find my there it is we're going to take one of these circular diamond burrs and we're actually going to gouge out this little I don't know knob thing <laughs> and kind of hollow that out and you will see why in a moment So I know I mentioned not carving a shell without a respirator, but with these things, <laughs> you should also definitely be wearing ear protection. I mean, these shells are basically giant acoustic chambers. <laughs> Here, I'll demonstrate with one that hasn't been touched yet. They are, they resonate like crazy. <laughs> because of how big and how thin they are, how open it is. Alrighty, so we've added on some more stuff and we're gonna drill holes throughout this, these little swirlies. The holes aren't exactly, the spots aren't gonna be exactly where I drew them on, it's just to give an example. So to start, we'll probably go, oh where was it, I just had it out, there it is do our biggest ones first so we'll be using circular burrs and I actually like to come in with one of these which is just got a really sharp point on it and kind of make pilot holes because these are fairly aggressive and they can break the, whatever you're working on especially when it's as thin as the shell is so I'll go through and drill some and it has the added benefit of being about the same size as, you know, the little ones that I'm going to be doing. And then when I go to the really little ones, I'll use this right here. Really fine pointed one. So yeah, let's do it. Alright, so admittedly, should have seen that one coming. It's pretty dang thin right there, so we revised the plan. Instead of doing punch throughs, which luckily these are up high enough to where you're not going to notice it, we just did some light impressions across the whole thing. 
I think that looks pretty cool though. And I guess I can show you what the ultimate plan is now. Alright, so we've got our cutouts and our impressions. If you notice, I shaped that very intentionally. And the reason for that is this right here. This is actually just a night light. I just took the the lens off of it right here. Super cheap, but it's a really nice bright LED, so shaped that out down here so it can just pop in. Probably secure it with some like, I don't know, just hot glue or something. But yeah, I'll show you why we're doing that. The cool thing about this one is it actually has a light sensor. So if you see, I've got the light coming in through the shop door right now. But if I cover that, it lights up. So they're actually really cool night lights. So if I feed this in like this, and then cover that light. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Pretty awesome. The way that center part glows, it's almost like a bulb. Very cool. So I'm probably going to add a little bit more of the impressions. And there's really not a whole lot more to do on this. I like to keep it simple. simple and I think it looks really good actually sometimes you don't need to go all out on something to make it look amazing and another cool thing about that is it only requires a cutoff wheel of any kind and a couple different sizes of circular diamond burrs so it's it's a very easy and affordable one not to mention the fact that you can find Milo's like everywhere on for sale <laughs> also just wanted to say thank you so much for watching uh, as of the recording of this video the channel is about to hit 700 subscribers which just blows my mind i i know in the grand scheme of youtube that's really not a whole lot but to me it's just it's amazing and i never expected to get past the the hundred subscriber mark so to each and every one of you thank you so much it really means so much to me and i've got a lot of very cool stuff planned for this summer spring and summer and fall so i hope i can keep giving you guys content that you enjoy also i'll be getting more into specifics as we get closer but i to adequately say thank you i'm going to be doing a 1000 subscriber giveaway and it's going to be huge i'm giving away a lot of stuff and i hope you guys all 
look forward to that and I'll get into, like I said, I'll get more into specifics of what you can win as we get closer, but yeah, I've got a lot of stuff lined up to give away. <laughs> as for this one, I think that's gonna do it. I've got something really cool I'm working on right now. It should be out uh, next week or the week after. Well, I guess I can give you a little sneak. There, that's all I'm doing. I don't want to give away too much. <laughs> ah, I guess I'll do this too. There. There, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> but as for this one, that's going to do it. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe if you think I earned it. I will have another one out same time next week. And yeah, stay safe, everyone. And I was wondering what all the flickering is. Apparently, uh, one of my fluorescence is going out, or both, I guess I should say. Awesome.